colleagues. For Lahore's police chief, it was as if last year's Mumbai attacks had come to his city. It was uh, about 9 o'clock that for, uh, 12 of the terrorists, they came probably boarded in a rickshaw. They came to the spot, they were properly masked and they were armed with uh, rocket launchers. They were armed with hand grenades, clash and course, and they started firing on the Sri Lanka team. And five of uh, our uh, uh, Jawans, they, they, they are so, so far, they are martyred and uh, five of them are injured. Two of the injured cricketers had hospital treatment, one wounded in the chest, the other in the leg. The first believed to be opening batsman Taranga Parnavitana, the second Tilan Samarawira, who a day earlier had been celebrating a double century, now said to be the worst injured of his team. One former head of Pakistani cricket saying the match should not have been played in unstable Lahore, currently under emergency governor rule, and calling security an abject failure. Where was that presidential form of security? There was no presidential form of security, there was just one bus. And to say that we are going to investigate, what do you mean by that? The Sri Lankan players were airlifted out of the Gaddafi Stadium, which had become their temporary refuge. They were here as late replacements for the Indian team, which pulled out of its scheduled tour after the Mumbai attacks. Other sides have cancelled Pakistan tours over security concerns. This the biggest blow yet to the country's number one sport. For now, though, the focus is on capturing the gunmen and finding out who was behind this attack. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera.